Welcome to Baititi, Tomb Raider's largest world hub. I'm Joel from GSG, and this is our Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the Hidden City Collectible Guide. Before we begin, visit Paititi Market and purchase the knife upgrade. You're going to want to do the Dice of the Dead side mission as well. If you need help with either of these, visit our Shadow of the Tomb Raider playlist. Finally, this guide's path is presented via story progression. You visit the Hidden City on four separate occasions. Not everything is available on your first visit. I'll be breaking that down for you. Head back inside Munoratu's home and to the left of the base camp on a table as your first document. From Unoratsu's house, head down the stairs into the building to the left and inside is going to be a relic on the ground. From the bottom stairs of Unoratsu's home, look to the right, you should see a glint. Head down those stairs and collect a survival cache. Make your way past the wooden valance beam and climb down the ladder. When you reach the bottom, take the path to the right. And on the right side is going to be a wall that you can climb up to a secluded area. And there's going to be a document on the ground. There is also an explorer backpack in that same secluded area. <clears throat> Next up is the first of three condor feathers for the keep calm and carry on challenge. Head towards the ladder that we've been climbing down. You're going to see a flat surface of hay. Jump over to it and in that nest is going to be a feather. Climb down the ladder, this time taking the path to the left. You're going to find a relic on the ground. Next to that relic is a document that's on a wooden shelf. <laughs> From Unaratu's home, follow the east wall to the south. You're going to find a monolith. <laughs> This describes something nearby. A lone sentry stands guard over me and his harvest. From the monolith, you want to head to the lower area and you're going to find a crop field and a scarecrow. You want to head behind the scarecrow to find the survival cache. Lost. Head south from the monolith and down the stairs. You're going to find a survival cache tucked in between the wall and a building. <coughs> Go. 
Relic number three requires a reinforced knife, so hopefully you picked up that knife upgrade from Paititi Market. Head to the building with the braided rope barriers. Cut the rope, head inside the building, and look on the ground to the right. From the last building, head down the stairs and look to the wall to the left for a mural. Continue down that path and you're going to find an alcove next to the waterfall. In here is going to be a document. Near the waterfall inside that same alcove is going to be an explorer backpack. Dive into the water near the waterfall and you will find a survival cache. Head south past the bridge leading to Upper Paititi and you're going to find a mural out in the open next to a water channel. Head to the southeast end of the dock and you will find a ladder that you can climb up. Once you get to the top of that surface, you will find a condor feather. From the southeast end of the dock, you're going to dive in the water and continue swimming southeast and against the wall is going to be a mural. Make your way south, taking the small path on the edge of the dock, and this is going to lead you to a document. Dive down near that last document and you will find the survival cache. Dive down to where you just collected that cache. You're going to find an opening. You want to swim to the right and take that path leading to a larger area underneath the deck. And you're going to find a treasure chest. Jump into the water and swim all the way to the south end. Dive down and you will find a survival cache. Head to the upper area from the west of the docks. Look for the birds flying overhead. In between the structures, you'll find an area that you can climb up. Once you get to the top, you'll find a nest and another condor feather. From the feather, you can descend down that rope, and that's going to lead you to the next collectible. Head to the south and look for a small building next to a set of stairs. It has a braided rope barrier. 
Cut the barrier and look to the left on the ground for a relic. From the village cave's base camp, head to the back of the cave and look on the table to the right for a document. Next up is the changing the weather challenge. This requires you to rope pull five frog totems. From the first frog totem, head to the right between the two buildings. Climb up and then climb over the wall and drop down into the first building. Go around the scaffolding and you will find the survival cache. From the first frog totem, Take the path to the left and head up the stairs. Head inside the building on the left and when you get inside look to the right and on the ground you will find a document. Inside that same building with the document is going to be a water well. Jump inside that water well and dive down. Follow the path and that's going to lead you to the Temple Path Base Camp. Next to that base camp is going to be a document. From the Temple Path Base Camp, head up the stairs to the right, jump up over the break and look to the right. On top of the stone slabs is going to be a document. From the Temple Path Base Camp, continue up the flight of stairs and once you reach that dead end, there's a part of the wall that you can scramble up. Climb up the wall and once you reach the top of it, look to the left and next to a wooden shelf is going to be an archivist map on the ground. <laughs> 
From the archivist map, look to the right and you will find a document on some stone slabs. Next up is a high diving challenge. This requires you to swan dive off of four high dives. And this high dive is right next to the last document. And is anybody triggered from Rise of the Tomb Raider's dives? Now we're heading inside the Temple of the Sun tomb. For a comprehensive strategy guide on the tomb, the puzzles, and the collectibles, make sure you check out our Shadow of the Tomb Raider playlist. And of course I'm going to show you how to get those collectibles here. Once you reach the temple and drop down, look to the right on a table and you will find a document. Afterwards, continue down the path making a right and at the dead end you will find a mural. at the right time it looks like the cultists were just here after reaching the base camp swing out to the crag wall and rappel down once you get to the bottom floor head up the stairs look against the wall and you will find a mural Inside the puzzle room facing the tomb steely, we are at the back left mirror, adjusting it for the puzzle. <coughs> After crossing the beam, look to the left for an entryway that leads to a hallway. Head down to the left and look on a table for a document. Continue down the hallway towards the dead end. You should see a glint, and that's going to be a survival cache. Make your way back out to the puzzle room. Continuing forward by going to the left and jumping onto the beam and crossing over to the next area. Once you drop down, look to the left and you will find a mural. And that is the final collectible in the tomb.
head back out to the actual city and from frog totem number one take the stairs to the left and midway to the right you will find a monolith canals bring water to the arid parts of the village and they washed me away head back to the village caves base camp Go to the bottom of the set of stairs and look near it for a survival cache. This will be useful. From Frog Totem number one, take the stairs on the left all the way up and before you get to that cave look to the left there's going to be a crag wall that you can climb up climb up that wall and you will find a mural Climb up the crag wall and once you reach the area with the mural look to the left and there's going to be another crag wall that you can climb up. Climb up that wall and take the path and you will be able to repel down and once you get to the bottom you will find a relic. Climb up the crag wall, this time taking the path to the right. Drop down and go into the building. Look between the beds on the ground for a document. Head inside of the cave next to the crag wall and look to the left against the wall as a mural. Continue past the mural and look on the ground to the right is going to be a document. Just past the document on the left hand side is going to be a relic. Starting from the entrance of the cave with my back turned against it, I'm going to continue down this path leading all the way to a dead end. Head inside the building and look to the left to find an archivist map. Starting from the same position, I'm going to continue down a set of stairs and against a building is going to be a mural.
Next up is a dropping decimals challenge. This requires Lore to grapple attach to three hanging quippus. If you've already done the Dice of the Dead side mission, then you know who Pisco the Dead is. Head inside his house, and towards the back is going to be a treasure chest. This requires a lockpick. Make your way into Pisco the Dead's house and head towards the back and to the right of their treasure chest behind that wall is going to be a relic. Head to the temple in Lower Paititi. To the right of the entrance of the temple is a relic. Now we're headed inside of the temple area. Once you get inside, look to the left and on a stone bench is going to be a document. Continuing down the path into the next large room, you will see the relic in front of you on a stone slab. From the belly of the serpent base camp, continue up the stairs and you will find a document. From the previous document, continue into the tunnel and once you reach the next room, you will see the mural to the left. Side note, we are not done collecting everything for the first visit, so do not follow the objective just yet. Back outside at the Temple District Base Camp, head behind the wooden pillar to collect the survival cash. From the Temple District Base Camp, look to the northwest for a crag wall. Climb that crag wall and once you reach the top, continue down the path. Look to the left, you will see an altar with the relic. At the top of the crag wall, follow the path all the way to the end to come across a mural. Just outside of Pisco the Dead's house is a monolith. This monolith requires a level 2 proficiency in the Yucatec dialect. This describes something nearby. Seven golden birds perched here and there. One escaped to the trees with his treasure. Dropped from his talons. I'm waiting for you. Head south and take the set of stairs. Once you reach the top, you will see a nearby monolith 
you want to turn around, you will see a woman, also one of the outcasts from the Dice of the Dead side mission. Go behind her, and you will find the survival cache. Found you. From the Temple District base camp, head northeast taking the stairs down. Continue down the path until you reach a deck. Once you do, look to the left and you will find Equipus to attach to. <laughs> head to the east of that last Equipus near Frog Totem number 4. In between some buildings, against a wall, is a mural. From the Paititi Market Base Camp, head up the stairs and take the first entry. Once you get inside the building, look to the left and you cannot miss this relic. From the Paititi Market Base Camp, head up the stairs and into the building. Head to the right and you will find some water. Jump inside that water and dive down. You want to continue down this path. Once you get to an opening, you can emerge from the water and you will see some land that you can grab onto. Pull yourself up and collect an explorer backpack. Next up is relic number 12. From Paititi Marketplace Base Camp, we're going to take those stairs up back into that building and we're going to go back into that water to the right, dive down and follow the passes all the way to the large opening and you're going to emerge from the water, climb up on the surface, and then you're going to climb up over that wall. You'll see a hole in the wall in front of you. You're going to go through that hole and when you come out, you're going to see a relic on the right hand side on the ground. Go behind the Paititi Market base camp and in between the walls is going to be a survival cache. Head slightly northeast to a bunch of similar structures. You will find one of them that has an opening. Crawl underneath and you will find a relic. East of the last relic, there is a set of stairs leading down to the river. Take those stairs down and at the bottom on the shore is going to be a survival cache. <laughs> Directly across from the front entrance of the marketplace is a fountain and in that fountain is a mural. Take the stairs to the west of the front entrance of the marketplace. After you get up the third flight of stairs, look to the left and head inside the building. You will find a document on the bed. From the last document, head to the west. Near the butcher's building, there is a cave. It is painted red with feathers on top. Take the tunnel, and this will lead you to the wild jungle.
After exiting town, you want to take the trail to the left. Then you want to take it to the right. Then you want to take it to the left again, around the tree, and then an explorer backpack near the rock. From the base camp, you're gonna head all the way to the north. You're gonna come across what looks like a sacrificial pit. Here you'll find a relic. Cross over the body of water to the west. From the large tree, you wanna make a right and in the corner, you will find a survival cache. Now we're headed to the Path of Battle Tomb. From the base camp, you want to head south following the body of water. Once you reach the waterfall, dive down, look to your right, and you will see a crack in the wall. And you can squeeze through and get to the next area. Once you squeeze through, you should see a glint swim all the way against the wall. And in the corner, you will find this route cache. A grim welcome. I'll have to watch my step. After rappelling down to the base camp, look to the right to find a mural. Obsidian blades, never dull. After entering into the next large room, but before activating the lever, you want to dive into the large body of water. Swim against the current, you should see a glint. On top of the rocks is a survival cache. After collecting the survival cache, swim back towards the lever and climb up on the surface. Once you do, look to the left and you will see a document. <laughs> After rappelling down to the next area, continue along the path and you will come across a mural on the left hand side. After completing the tomb, you're presented with one last trap, spinning blades. Jump across the gap, and once you do, you will see a glint, and that is a survival cache and the final collectible of the tomb. From the wild jungle base camp, Follow the body of water down south towards the tomb entrance and to the left of the tomb entrance is going to be a large tree. You want to climb up this tree and swing over to the wall. Climb up this wall and once you reach the top surface, the path is going to hook around and as you're hooking around you're going to see a statue and directly below it is going to be a document.
continue along the path that led to document 19 but you want to pass that there's going to be a large gap and you want to jump to the other side of that cliff make your way across the tree branch jump onto the wall and climb all the way to the top of this cliff once you get to the top there is a crypt entrance now there is a challenge for crypts it's speak of the dead it requires you to uncover the secrets of four crypts basically you need to loot four crypts right after passing the first four spike trap look to the right for a relic After shimmying through the crack, look below the corpse for a document. This could be interesting. something on the other side after lore spots the sarcophagus drop down directly below you to find a mural Head in the opposite direction of the mural and you will find a part of the wall that you can climb up. Once you reach the top, look for a document. This won't be easy. After crossing the spike pit and entering the large room, head to the small corridor adjacent from the large room. Here you're going to find an archivist map. After collecting the archivist map, head back into the large room and climb up the wall. And this is going to lead you to the sarcophagus. Okay, one last leap. Hope this is worth the trouble. After exiting the crypt, look to the right for high diving running boards. Swan dive off of that for the second high diving location.
head back to the center of Paititi and in the north end of the housing district you will find a mural against a wall. Head to the building south of the mural, go to the side of the building, and underneath the wooden bridge is going to be a survival cache. From the last mural, head to the west to the planter box, climb up the stone wall, and on top you will find a survival cache. Head north towards the river where the two islands are. On the first island is a monolith. This describes something nearby. The waters below protect me from the waters above. To find this treasure, swim all the way to the north to the waterfall. And right before the waterfall, you want to dive down and you should see a glint and that's going to be the survival cache. Look for the large white tree near the fishing district base camp. Climb up this tree and jump to the cliff to the west. Continue up the mountain trail all the way to the top. Once you reach the top, look to the left on a large stone slab and you will find a document. Slightly south of the large white tree is a trail leading to a survival cache. <laughs> to the west of the last survival cache is a muddy trail that leads to the abandoned village. After reaching the abandoned village base camp, look up and you will notice the final quipus for the dropping decimal challenge. Turn around and take the stairs leading up to the upper platform and jump off and grapple attached to the quipus. <laughs> Head west from the base camp down two sets of stairs. Pass a wooden valance and look to the left and near a wall on the ground is going to be a document. Head to the southwest of the base camp for a building that has a window that you can climb into. Use the rope post to tether across to the other building. Cross over the tether, and when you drop down, look to your left and you will find a document. <laughs> 
Continue forward from the last document, heading up a small flight of stairs. Once you reach a wall, you should find a survival cache. Head past the survival cache and look on a small wooden crate for an archivist map. The next document requires a rope ascender, which you can acquire by doing the Dice of the Dead side mission. During that side mission, you will speak to one of the outcasts. She will become a merchant and she will sell you a lockpick and a rope ascender. At the south end of the abandoned village, you will find a rope barricade. Destroy that with the rope ascender. Head inside the building. Look to the right on the table and you will find a document. This next document also requires a rope ascender. You want to head to the center of the abandoned village. Here you will find another rope barricade. Destroy the barricade with the ascender. Head inside the building and on the back on the table is a document. Swim across the lake to the northwest, and once you get across, right in front of the cave, you will see a glint, and that is a survival cache. Make your way into the cave, head to the back where there's a large rock, and next to that rock is an explorer backpack. Head to the building with the last rope barricade that was destroyed. Next to it is a wall. Not so obvious that you can climb up, but you want to climb up there and follow the trail. If you want to see a rope post, you can tether across to the other side. Continue on that path from the crag wall and you will reach the top and the crypt. Once you reach the large well, do not jump into the water. Instead, look to the right and there will be a mural on the wall. Okay, water looks deep enough. After examining the mural, dive down into the water and directly below you will be a survival cache. After squeezing through the gap, swim down the passage to the next large area. You will see a trapped air pocket. Swim to that and you will see a relic.
After collecting the relic, turn around and look to the left and you will see a passage. Swim through to the surface and disarm a spike trap. After you pass the spikes, then look to the right on the ground for an archivist map. Dive into the water next to the archivist map. Here you will find the survival cache. Head back into the water from the direction that you originally came from. Swim forward and you will see a barricade that you will need to destroy. Once you destroy the barricade, follow the path all the way to the surface and this will lead you to the treasure of the crypt. has been here recently. Here's what I've been looking for. Upon exiting the crypt, look to the right for high diving running boards. Swan dive off the running boards for the third high diving location. Head north of Unaratu's home to the irrigation farming area. Once there, head to the northwest next to the wooden structure. On the side of it is a relic. Fun fact, the merchant in the Dice of the Dead side mission is actually a traveling merchant. You can find her in Kuakyaku, Paititi, and Mission of San Juan. Take the stairs leading up to the northernmost area. Look to the left and you will find a relic. A short distance from the last relic is a very green monolith. This describes something nearby. The youngest of four turns his back on his brothers, and able to speak as I lie in his mouth. There are four large pillars in the irrigation farming area. Head to the lowest one and look to the side of it near the mouth on the ground is the treasure. The survival cache. Should be helpful. Huh. 
Head to the west end of the irrigation farming area. Look for a braided rope barricade. Cut the braided rope. This will reveal running boards. You want to swan dive off for the final high diving location. This completes all of the collectibles for your first visit to Paititi. As per the objective, you will need to travel through the temple to find the silver box of a chill. Looks like this is the only way, okay? Once you get to the trial of the serpent, head towards the set of stairs and look to the wall on the right for a mural. If you're struggling with the trial of the serpent puzzle, make sure you check out our Shadow of the Tomb Raider playlist. Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree. After returning from the Trial of the Serpent, head to Unuratu's home and speak to Uchu. Uchu sends you on a two-part side mission, Hearts and Mind. This will lead you to the secret crypt. the entrance. After entering into the crypt and passing the two spike traps, look to the right next to the fire bowl for a document. Continue down the path past the next set of spike traps. You will find a mural right in front of you in the next room. After breaking through the wall, you will disarm two spike traps. Head into the next large room and look to the left for a document. <coughs> no one's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. After collecting the document, look to the opposite side of the room for a relic. The final collectible of the second visit is the Crypt's treasure, which requires a little bit of puzzle solving. Nanko's resting place. This looks suspicious.
Hello, Manko. Now, where's the amulet? Now, to get this back to Uchu. After collecting the crypt treasure, continue the story progression by going to the mountain temple. There's light coming through this wall. Another sealed or passageway, I bet. To avoid spoilers, the third visit was recorded after completing the story. However, you are still led on the path of the story progression during the third visit. To avoid confusion, the Temple of Kukulkan Base Camp does not appear until your fourth return to Paititi. Excluding the first relic and document in Skull Cave, all of the collectibles require the Serpent Guard outfit. After returning from Cenote, the following side missions become available. Freedom, Ancient Studies, Widow's Tears, and Stay of Execution. For more information on these side missions, make sure you check out our Shadow of the Tomb Raider playlist. From Skull Cave Base Camp, take the path leading up towards a set of stairs, and in between it you'll see a statue and a document. Near the last document is a busted up structure. Head in the entryway and look on the ground for a relic. As you're making your way to Upper Paititi, look for a braided rope barrier to the right. Cut the barrier and you will find a relic. Upon entering Upper Paititi, you will come across a monolith. This describes something nearby. They stand back to back, two brothers in arms. I lie at the feet of the one who watches the Shaded Serpent. Head north from the monolith, continuing up multiple flights of stairs. Once you see a large statue, go behind that statue and you will see a matching statue. Look at the feet of that statue for the treasure. This is great. From the Upper City Main Gate Base Camp, head south saying in the upper area, head all the way to the back and you will find a relic. Head to the northwest end of the Upper Market Look on our table and you will find a relic. Head to the northeast end of the upper market and you will find a window that you can climb into. 
Once you drop down, you can collect two documents and an archivist map. On the east side of the upper market, you want to look for a set of stairs leading down. Inside this room, you'll find a treasure chest. Now you can make your way inside the Temple of Kukul Khan. After reaching the bottom of the stairs, look to the left near some vases and on the ground is a document. From document 32, drop down into the pit and follow the path all the way back for a survival cache. At the bottom of the staircase on the east side is a document. Look on the east side of the wall to find another document on the ground. Drop down into the pit from the east side and follow it all the way back to find a relic. Head to the center of the chamber to find a relic near the altar. Head to the northwest corner of the chamber to find a document. From the last document, go into the back room. Here you will find another document and a relic. Look in the northeast corner of the large chamber and you will find another document.
After exiting the temple, take the path to the left. Grapple onto the crag wall, then repel down. Directly below you will be a survival cache. Next up is the final tomb, the Ancient Aqueduct. For a comprehensive strategy guide on the tomb, the puzzles, and the collectibles, check out our Shadow of the Tomb Raider playlist. After emerging from the water, climb up the crag wall. Once you reach the top, look to the right and you will find a relic. Once you enter the next large area, head to the back right. Here you will find a survival cache. Make your way to the next area from the survival cache and you will hear a cry out from a Yashil. When you do, look to the right and you will find a mural. This is right before Laura pulls out her guns. After arriving at the base camp, dive down into the water and look to the left for a survival cache. And that is all of the collectibles in the ancient aqueduct. Next up is the Dunking Bones Challenge. This requires you to knock three skeletons off their poles into the river. Continue along the path of the crag wall. Once you can rappel down, look to your left and you will see your first skeleton. After rappelling down the crag wall, you will see the second skeleton for the Dunking Bones Challenge. During your first visit to the area, the paths differ. Originally, you wall scramble to the top of the pillar before you. On your returning visit, you axe grapple to the ledge but they both lead to the same point. On your first visit, drop down near the rope post to find an explorer backpack. On your second visit, continue down the path of the ledge and you will find a corpse and an explorer backpack.
from the rope post tether across to the opposite side. Once you drop down from the rope, you will find a mural. Continue climbing to the north until you reach the crypt entrance. Before you go into the crypt, look to the right and you will find a mural. Now make your way inside the crypt. This contains a survival cache and the treasure. I can barely see the bottom. Hope there is a bottom. This cavern must have been carved by an underground river. Some kind of carving up there. Look to the left of the large carving for a survival cache. After activating the lever, continue down the hallway, you will enter into a large room with the crypt treasure.
after exiting the crypt, make your way outside towards the objective near mural 21 and the rope post is a beam that you can swing out to another ledge further out. Jump up on the craggy wall and go around it and you will see a craggy ceiling. You want to axe gravel onto that ceiling. Look to the left and you will see the final skeleton for the dunking bone challenge. Starting from the final skeleton, we're going to continue climbing up to the building above us. There's going to be a window that you would jump in. Once you are inside of the room, look to the right and you will find a document. If this is a return visit for you, there is an easier path. Cross the first rope bridge to the center. Look to the right for a tethered rope leading to the building and the room. Once you reach the center island, cross the bridge to the east into the large room. Within this room, there is two documents, a relic, and an archivist map. Back on the island, look on the west side to find the final monolith. This describes something nearby. A once ferocious warrior, raised as a warning. They fell from his mouth and now lie beneath him. Nearby the monolith is a set of stairs. There's a rope barricade, so you want a rope pull to destroy the barricade. Cross through and you're going to find a mask that is hanging on a pole. Below the mask is the treasure. This will be useful. From the temple base camp, we're going to drop off the ledge to the right of the rope bridge. Shimmy across to the left and you're going to see a crag wall that you can start climbing down. Climb down a little bit, then rappel. You want a rope swing to the ledge below. Once you get up to the upper area, you want to look to the left and you will find a survival cache. This also leads to the final crypt. From the last survival cache, head to the south to find the crypt entrance and a bunch of dead bodies.
After sliding down and entering the next room, look to the right to find a document. Quite the grim welcoming committee. Jump onto the counterweight to descend to the bottom floor. Once you reach the bottom, you were presented with a crypt treasure. Have to find another way out. After disarming two spike traps, enter into the next room. Look to the left and on a wooden shelf is going to be the final document. In the same room as the document, on the opposite end is the final collectible, Mural 23. One final side mission is required for 100% of the region. It is part 3 of the Hearts and Minds side mission. This mission becomes available after returning from the mission of San Juan. You'll need to speak to Uchu. I'd like to take the time to thank those of you that were patient and supported the project. I rarely hard push likes and shares, but it would be greatly appreciated if you would do so. Hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next Tomb Raider. And for one last time, thanks for watching Raiders.